Hello guys, thank you so much for commenting on one of my videos. Uh, guys, don't worry, I will keep making videos, but lately, my internet has not been working at all. I, for some reason, I get disconnected very often. It is a hustle just to play, guys. It's very difficult. It's very, very annoying, guys. You have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, I am back for now. I, I guess one thing that I want to tell you guys is... I don't plan on stopping making videos anytime soon. So if you don't see that I upload videos because I I know I am aware that lately I haven't been uploading as many videos as I would normally do. Not only that, also I actually have not uploaded videos in four days. Now how I do it is the following. I play matches I record the matches, I save the uh, the recorded matches on my computer, and then day by day I start recording uh, some matches so I can go ahead and uh, and play for you guys, you know? But the thing lately is that I already run out of, uh, of matches. I only have like four, four left, so I do have to keep in mind that I don't have many many fights left so i have to do that so let me go over uh mm, let's see okay I, i'll try to make the announcement in about a minute um first Maisha got nerfed yes uh she got a nerf it is okay it, it is not that bad it is pretty noticeable uh you can see that uh her one it is the main thing that got nerfed so I, I think now it's a little bit more viable to, to level up your two. But I was trying to see what would happen if I would continue to level up my one. Because I wanted to see how it would work. So yeah, damn, the aim of that person. He was able to hit me. That's very nice. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, what they increase is they increase the cooldown on it. It went, I think, to 12 seconds from nine. And actually, oh, bitch, damn. Damn. <laughs> I, I know that uh, Meisha got nerfed, but she's not a bitch. She's still pretty powerful, honestly, guys. Uh, now the thing is that you just have to change the way that you build her. If you, if you notice that your one hits less times or has less... Uh, or a higher cooldown, well, what you can do is be able to spam it faster. What you can do is get cooldown reduction, that way you'll be able to use it more often. And even though it is not able to hit as many times, you will still be able to attack pretty often because you'll be able to spam it more often. Now, I am actually questioning why Song Wukong is right here next to me, if he can go ahead and defend middle lane. It is... I, I don't know, guys. I was on a uh, solo queue. So, as you can tell, those guys and me are not synchronized in any way. And as you know, I am pretty independent whenever I play 3v3 matches. I try to avoid any conflicts and I even try to avoid uh, helping my friends. Not because I don't want to, but just because I see it unnecessary whenever they're doing something that I don't approve. So that makes me a really bad player whenever it comes to uh, team matches. So that uh, you have to know. I play as if I was playing alone. The thing is that I am so used to playing 1v1s that whenever I play uh, a 3v3, I feel like there are many unnecessary things that should not be done. For example, why would you try to push a lane that has uh, three uh, champions inside of the tower range whenever they're farming? Well, if you see three people inside of the tower, go and attack other towers. There, there's, none, there's no only one tower. There are six. So you can go ahead and attack any of the towers. There's no need for you to be staying inside. I, I know the Luck wants to attack me or use his ultimate, so... Oh no, he doesn't have the ultimate. So yeah, he was pretty much trying to push me, I guess. Now, my concern with the team composition that we're fighting is that Kalar can stun you about 5 times. 6, 7, 8, I don't know. And then we have uh, Mikiri. Which Mikiri <laughs> is stupid. Which Mikiri has the the ability to burst down enemies. So if I build 
AP, if I have an AP build today on this uh, specific match, I am going to lose. So what I'll build is, I am going to build, it is a hyper build, it contains utility, it contains ability power, and it also does have uh, cooldown reduction. So that's going to be a thing. How I will build it is, I am going to go ahead and get uh, Guardian Scepter, I will get Medusa Shield as well. I will get uh, two mage hangers, I will keep my agility shoes, and then for the last item, I am going to keep, uh, it's going to be Archmage Dagger for a little bit, and then I'll change it based on how much resistance the enemy has before I change it to anything else. The reason why I want to try full cooldown reduction at the moment, it's because I want to see how it is affecting the, the thing that, oh shit, let's see, nice, one, two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come to me, baby. Come to me. Uh, sometimes what I try to do is I try to kite enemies. Let me see if I can do it in front of them. Yeah. E yes. He was able to kill. That's nice. Uh, we have Locke right now. Locke already has his ultimate, so we have to keep that in mind. The ultimate, it's, it's a thing, actually, guys. Okay, looks like he wants to fight alone. So, I don't like to be all together in a line. I, I think it wasted a lot of time, so I'd just rather move. Why is that dragon attacking me? The fuck? Dragon? Chill. Chill, dragon. Uh, okay. So, guys, I actually don't plan on stopping making, uh, stop making videos anytime soon. So, what I'll do is, I will try to record as many matches as I can. My internet is working fine today. It's not amazing, but it's working way better than many other... Why is that Bragdoller building Elven Armor first? What the fuck? She could have started with uh, flame armor. Uh, I mean, uh, right now when I check um, this lock, he's gonna be building uh, attack damage. Mikiri is physical, and then we have Kalar, which is physical as well. So why would you not get physical resistance? Why would you go for magical resistance if none of them are magical? Well, again, who am I to judge? So yeah guys, I it doesn't make much sense the build that Bragdollar is having, but then again, maybe she'll think that my build doesn't have uh, a lot of sense, or it doesn't make sense. Why is that so Wukong on my lane? <laughs> I mean, I, I before the match started, I was actually calling uh, middle lane, because of course I wanted to go for a... AP champion and I want to see how, well, what was up. I from the beginning of the match I was actually planning on playing this champion because I actually wanted to show the changes that they had made on this champion. Oh time for the ultimate. As you can see guys I waited for the right moment to use my ultimate. I did not want to use it if it was not a necessity. Oh let's see if we can get a uh, triple kill. Yeah I'm going for it. Ah uh, fuck no. The tower is gonna kill me. So better off if, if I just run. Oh baby you come to me. Thank you! <laughs> nice! Thank you, Kadar! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, the, the, cow, the tower punished me for that. It's fine. It was worth it. It was worth it, guys. So, yeah. Uh, so, they mean, basically, overall, I guess I'll make it again. I'll try to make it all under a minute. Uh, uh, Misha was nerfed. They actually call it a balance, which is okay, I guess, guys, because... Uh, I do think that she was a little bit too powerful. I still think that she's powerful But the changes that they made They make it a little bit less of a hassle or a problem. So yes guys, we're, we're doing fine um, You can just change the way that you build. I, I don't think that's gonna be a problem If you feel like if you like this champion a lot and if you think that the uh, That changes really really nerf her well, you can try to change the build or the way that you play. That Bragdollar needs to go back. Go back, bro. Go back, bro. Bro, go back. Go back. We don't want you to die. <laughs> yeah. What I'm doing is, I am trying to kite in the enemy. And also, I try to use my two first. So I can make the enemy slow. And they're going to have the over, um, the dot damage. The damage over time. So that's going to be pretty nice. Yeah, so, so far they're all building attack damage, so getting Elven Armor, it is still very questionable. I know that she can get uh, more healing off of it, but it's not worth it. 
if you're not gonna be able to sustain enough so why would you change that and it has 10% cooldown reduction but eh, I don't know you can still get flame armor and get a 10% cooldown reduction of uh, uh, tier 2 uh, medusa shield you can get it off of um, got, uh, one of despair as well and since she is ability power she gets the scaling towards her abilities we need to defend this right here I'm going for the ultimate. I just don't want to hassle. I just don't want to have the hassle of fighting that guy right now. Now, I am a little bit concerned about the composition of the enemy team because Kadar is going to be able to stun me like 50 times. Then we have Locke that is going to be able to stun me two different times, reposition me, and not only that, has the ultimate that can uh, knock me up. And on top of that, then they have Mikiri which can dash 50 times and then. It can burst enemies uh, really fast and it can knock you up into the air as well so they're gonna have a lot of crowd control and I have to keep in mind that uh, since I'm a mage they're gonna be able to burst me very fast so that is a reason why I will change the build now I will also I think I'll keep this build for a while because it seems to be working very well on her and uh, and it's working not only on her it's working on different champions oh shit you're gonna die fish you're gonna die don't scare me like that guy <laughs> yeah for a second I thought I was gonna die but then I figured I was Meisha so I then I was like fuck it so overall the build con uh, for ability power it contains two mage hangars so that's gonna be 240 damage right there uh, for a second I thought about getting more ability power which it was gonna be coming from uh, Dragonhorn but then again, I think about it, and I don't really need the boost because I can actually get another mage hangar and get the additional 50 armor and then the utility that you can have. Ah, fuck. I was trying to help the other guy. Nah. Uh, nah. Die. 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 Yeah. So they have like 50 stuns, and yeah, I died. Now, I, I am going to change it for mage hangar. I'd rather have the utility. And for some reason they're all building attack damage, eh, I don't know, maybe it's a thing going on right now. But my concern is that Locke has more mobility than I do, so that's gonna be a problem. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. But yeah, the team composition that they have is gonna be very well to keep in an enemy in a specific spot so that everyone can rape it. And because, um, because Mikiri can burst enemies very fast so if I go right now if I go for a Billy power build ah, fuck I'll be raping seconds guys because they're gonna be able to lock me pretty fast and uh, the build that I have it mainly cons uh, consists on being able to sustain an encounter in which they'll usually kill me and since they're not gonna have anything left I'll be able to kill them um, because once how I feel is once an assassin has already used all of her abilities once an assassin has already used all of the utilities that they have it's gonna be ah uh, fuck really really oh he did it like that so he could reposition himself damn he really wants me you usually never use your ultimate first unless you're gonna reposition someone like that so that was pretty clever of him Nah, not really. He, he just did it so that the enemies, uh, of course, the other guys could kill me. So guys, whenever you see me getting Guardian Scepter, you're gonna mainly see me go for Melissa Shield. Because it has such a really nice synergy that it works very well uh, together. As you know, Guardian Scepter gives you 60 ability power. It gives you extra mana. But the unique passive that it has, besides restoring your mana and getting mana back and enhancing your mana regen is that you gain a shield for five seconds three seconds i think three to five let me go ahead and check that for you guys i don't want to give you any wrong information let me check okay when health is reduced to below 20 percent grants a shield for three seconds that absorbs damage equal to 20 percent of your maximum mana okay so that's gonna be a thing now since Meisha, uh, well since the way I build Meisha is I keep Medusa shield which is 400 mana and then we have Garden Scepter, it has really good synergy because right there it's 650 damage so you can take 20% of that and you'll make it into a shield 
without taking into consideration all of the mana that she already has. So that's gonna be very nice. It works very well, has a really good synergy. And as you can see, it can proc it very well. But I was just trying what what's going on? Are, are they lagging? What's going on? Well, the color died, and I think Mikari is going to die as well. Let's see. Yeah, he died as well. So that's gonna be a thing. I wonder what, where did it all build in attack damage? But, uh, but okay. So yeah, that, that build has that. And because it has two main tangards, it's 240 of ability power. It's 120 per each. Yeah, 240. And then we have Guardian Scepter, which is 60. That right there is 300. So I have 300 ability power plus whatever amount I get for my extra mana because Guardian Scepter also gives you more ability power. Uh, this is a unique passive. Let me go ahead and read it. Guardian Scepter, uh, unique passive, grants ability power equal to 3% of your maximum mana. So because I have uh, Medusa Shield and then I have uh, Guardian Scepter and the base mana that, that Meisha has, that's going to increase her ability power as well. So I don't think that I am losing a lot of power. And as you can see right here, guys, if I was build, having an, an ability power build, I would have probably died right here because he can actually burst me pretty fast. So we're going to see. Oh, so that's the way that he combos. That's not good, guy. That's not good. Now, I don't think wasting your ultimate like that is going to be a really good thing. If He has a lot of mobility. He has uh, power of the gods and agility shoes. That right there is a little, it's already a lot of mobility. Because power of the gods give you actually, it actually gives you 8% uh, more mobility. So it's going to be a plus. I, I don't see why he waste the ultimate like that. But he, I guess he wanted to secure a kill, I don't know. Uh, right now I'm actually overboard with cooldown reduction. I have 45%. But I'll keep it as it is because I want to keep that extra attack speed on uh, on Archmage Dagger because I want to be able to destroy these towers because since I am in solo queue I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of help coming from them. Ah uh, fuck no 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 I can make it I can make it I can make it I will make it I will make it bitch 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 <laughs> yeah and there is a reason why I try to keep digitality and I think we can still get lock ah uh, fuck I, I, I should have thrown it the other way not ah, he he died Ah, uh, he missed. I missed. No. We're gonna get him as well. It's fine. It's fine. Where are you going, bitch? Alright, there you go. <laughs> so yeah. So so far, I'm not actually worried a lot of the on the matchup. We're doing pretty well, even though uh, we're not synchronized. I think that they can do pretty well. I am actually uh, playing on the European server. And as you know guys, I sometimes have problems, well most of the time I have problems with the connection all over there. But it is the only server in which I have this champion. And uh, that is the main reason why I wanted to play her. And I get to show you uh, this champion. <laughs> why would you do that? And I'm not gonna die guy, I'm not gonna, oh no, never mind. I don't have mana. Ah oh, shit, I don't have mana. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, one dash, two dashes. Two dashes? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so he already has a uh, Dragon Sword. So Dragon Sword is, is gonna be a problem, like a really high problem, because right now I do have 200 armor, but once Mikiri activates his ultimate, he actually gets 50% uh, penetration for I believe 8 seconds, and because he has Dragon Sword, that has a unique passive of 35% uh, penetration. It, it ignores 35% of your armor. So if he, if he ignores 35% from his uh, equipment, which is uh, build, I guess, it's gonna be uh, 35 plus 50% of his ultimate. Guy, that, that's insane, guys. You're gonna have 85% uh, penetration. And it, so I and I've seen some people get. Um, Executioner as well, so it's crazy. Oh fuck, I missed. Well, Mikari is going to die. He has to die, bro. 
Yeah, it was about time you died, bro. If I hit, if I get my two, I'll activate it so I can regain it. I, and as you can see, guys, that passive. Oh, damn it! Fuck! I almost died. What? He has life too, or what? Why was he able to regain HP back? Like so much HP. Oh yeah. Oh damn. The build that he has is pretty nice so far. If I, I don't play Kadar very often, but if I did, I would just leave build like that. I have already thought about it. And uh, on top of that, maybe I am thinking about it. Maybe I'll get um, Executioner, but I'm not quite sure. So the build that he has, I like it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, bitch? One dash. Why would you come with less than half of HP, bro? No, no, bro. No, bro. What? What? You're gonna come for me, bro? You're gonna come for me? I know that you have lifesteal, so I'll just keep my distance. Can the bro? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I, I, I made a mistake. I honestly thought that I was going to get uh, knocked up. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought that I, he was going to uh, jump towards me. Okay. <laughs> what happened, Lock? Right now, what we have to do, guys, is we have to kite him in order for us to get our cooldowns again. Once we can secure a kill, I am going to use the ultimate. Like, right here, I think this is going to be the best position and I can use it. So I can uh, cast it. So, Lock, where are you going, bitch? There you go. But right now I don't have mana, so staying is gonna be a problem. So let me just go ahead and hold back. Uh, the build that I have, I don't plan on changing it anytime soon. So this is the build that I pretty much have on her. Uh, it's working very well. I know that a lot of people question the fact that I get agility shoes on almost all of my builds, but honestly, I think that movement speed it is OP. I think movement, movement speed it is very nice because it allows you to create a gap between you and the enemy. It allows you to catch up. It allows you to juke abilities, skill shots. It's just nice, guys. I honestly think that it is one of the best things that you can get. Uh, so, uh, uh, actually, the other day I was trying an assassin build that I have for Locke. And it doesn't have boots. And believe it or not, it seemed to be working very well. Uh, anyone that I would cut... Uh, I would caught, yeah. I would kill it, even even if they had uh, decent defense. I'm not talking about crazy defense like people build uh, all defensive items and and just sit there and be stupid. No, it's not like that. Uh, but yeah, it's a build. And even though I sacrificed my boots, oh, he already got magical shield. Fuck, that's gonna be a problem <clears throat> because I don't have pen. So it doesn't matter if I have a lot of ability power, if I don't have pen, it's not going to work very well because he's going to be able to resist some of the damage. Once I have my two available, I'll cast it. Okay. The reason why I used it like that, oh damn it, everyone has defense now. Should I go back? Should I attack the core? Guys, right now, I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know if I should just fall back, but the thing is that if I'll fall, <sighs> damn it, if I fall back and I defend, I don't think they're going to be able to destroy the core. Uh, so I, I think I should have... Oh, fuck. Okay. First of all, I have to get rid of this kill. Oh, he used all, all of his dashes. What are you going to do, bitch? <laughs> okay, so that's going to be a thing. Uh, let me go ahead and attack the core. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, so guys, lately, I haven't been able to upload videos. I will see if I can record many and then upload it for you guys. Uh, yeah, I am also trying to make more videos in Spanish because I want to cover a wide uh, audience, I guess, because not many people make Spanish videos as well. So I am, again, I'm not gonna change all my videos to Spanish. It is just one or two per week. And then the rest will be English as well. So that you can uh, kind of understand me better because I, I know that I, um, yeah, never mind that guys. So this is the match that I have uh, for uh, Meisha. They made some changes on her. I don't think it's a heavy nerf. She is still viable. She is still pretty powerful. Uh, it, it kind of, uh, the nerf that they gave her, it kind of gives you a window of opportunity so you can go ahead and, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, and uh, fight against her. As you can see, I was in solo queue and uh, the main thing, the main concern that I have is Bracknellor. 
Even though she has 7-3, why did they get magical defense? I, even Son Wukong, why would you go for magical defense if you have such a good belt? Uh, <clears throat> like right there, what Son Wukong could have done is change magical shield for uh, power of the gods. Because that would allow you to burst uh, enemies very well. Now, he has two defensive items. It's fine, I guess. Uh, but we already have a tank, which is Bragdaler, and Bragdaler built, for some reason, uh, decided to build <laughs> two defensive magical items for no reason, and then, uh, permanence. So yeah, that is very questionable. I, I, eh? I don't know why would you build like that. The, the only build that I like for my enemies, it's Kadars. The build that, I, that he has is very nice. I see why you would get, um... Magical shield because you're fighting. Uh, well, I guess the main problem here was me. So having magical resistance, it's very nice. Uh, lock, eh? It's kind of a hybrid build, I guess. Well, he has ability power, extra HP, uh, extra health, but he changed it quite a few times during the match. So I don't know what he was trying to do. Now Mikiri. Mm, he had penetration, but at the end he sold it so he could get uh, extra um, magical resistance. He had really nice critical rate, and power of the gods works very well on Mikiri. You can actually get rid of your boots and uh, get another attacking item. I mean, what do I know, right? Uh, for example, he could have had gotten rid of the boots and get, I don't know, Dragon Sword for penetration, because all of us had a lot of defense. So yeah, at the end, I decided to go ahead and change, uh, it was Archimedes, Arch, uh, I don't know, sorry, Archmage Dagger, uh, for Max, Mask of Doom, because they all have magical resistance, I know that it doesn't have a lot of, um, magical penetration, and I kind of needed some, but I like the way that Unique Passive works with her 1 and 2, so that's the main reason I, why I got it, and also, because I was very, I was playing very, um, I was playing alone. I was very, I don't know how you, how would I call it? Because I was playing alone. I, because I was playing alone, I wanted to get the extra HP. It gives me 300 HP, 50 ability power, uh, some penetration, which I believe is 10, 20, 10, I think it's 10. And then you have the unique passive that is going to apply the burn. So that's that's why I mainly I went for it. So guys, this is the video that I have for Misha. This was in the European server. I will keep all the learning videos, so just stay tight, guys. <laughs> Sit tight. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I am very glad that I now have 300 subscribers. I have over 300 subscribers. I think right now it's 324-ish, I think. So guys, thank you so much for your support. It helps me a lot. Just knowing that you like the content. Uh, the main purpose of the of the channel, it is just uh, mainly to show you guys uh, the skills and abilities of all the uh, champions. Guys, thank you so much for watching and please enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.